Let's go over some of the most important features you should be looking in your laptop. So let's go on to the first one, the processor. The processor is like the brain of a laptop. It indicates the performance level of a computer. So, it must be the main factor you should be looking in your laptop specification list. As the processor of a laptop is powerful, it will run faster and allows the users to run a large program such as photo editing, graphic design software, and etc. Second one is the hard drive. The hard drive or storage is another thing you should think about when you will buy a laptop. It is mainly two types, the HDD and the other type is SDD. You know that HDD can store a lot of data, but SDD has a low capacity for storage. It does not have any moving parts, but it saves your battery. So the third one is graphic and screen size. Graphic cards of a computer is generally two types such as integrated and dedicated. Integrated is called the built-in card. This card is suitable for everyday use. With this, you can browse the internet, watch YouTube, etc. easily. But complex works are slow in this type of card. The dedicated graphics card has advanced technology. You can do hard tasks such as video and photo editing without any trouble on a laptop. So, for better performance, you should choose computer with a dedicated graphics. The fourth one is the USB Type-C port. A USB port is a necessary feature of a laptop, but all USB ports are not used for some reasons. If your laptop has a USB Type-C port, you can charge laptop battery with the Type-C cable from outside. USB Type-C port is revisable. You can also copy files to other devices with it. The next one is the 2-in-1 PCs. Now, 2-in-1 laptops become very popular among young people. You can enjoy laptop browsing on your bed or at any table with this type of laptop. You will find detachable screen laptop or rotate screen laptop common and available in the market. Let's go over some of the most important features you are looking for um, in your laptop. The RAM. The random access memory is known as the memory of the computer. RAM temporarily stores um, recent use data for quick access later. Since you will be doing a lot of research, you will, you will need a good amount of RAM. So consider 8 gigabytes to 6 gigabytes for your laptop. Next is the battery life. Battery life is always the main concern when purchasing a laptop. It is important to have a long battery life, so it's best to look at around 8 hours um, battery support and look at the manufacturer's specs as a general guidelines. Let's move on to the next. The touchpad. The touchpad does the same job as the mouse on the desktop computer. The touchpad is used to control the mouse pointer. This allows you to navigate the true apps easily using just the finger gestures. A comfortable, easy to use touchpad is important. So consider the size and the placement of the touchpad when purchasing a laptop. The last one, the portability. The whole point of having a laptop is so that you can take it with you to class. So, we recommend sticking to a 14-inch laptop. It weighs less than 4 pounds and has an ultra slim design. At the same time, it offers enough screen size to comfortably write papers and have a multiple tabs app. So next, what are the uses and purposes of laptop? We have here the six main purpose of laptop. First is for communication. Most laptops have webcams and microphones that can be used to communicate with other people and take note. Laptop has bigger screen than smartphones, 
so you can see clearly the people you whom you are talking to second is for educational purposes laptops allow students to collaborate and communicate to their classmates inside or outside the classroom it also gives students the flexibility and freedom to work on their academic assignments third is for business purposes Laptops have become essential business tool. Laptop helps businesses to meet their milestone and deadline more quickly. Ginagamit din ang laptop for a company's operation, including product creation, marketing, accounting, and administration. Now, the fourth main use of laptop is entertainment. Laptops are used in many sources of entertainment that helps people entertainment in an easier way. Just like streaming music, you can access to unlimited song and also to connect with your favorite internet radio station. Just like watch a movie, use laptop to enjoy watching or streaming videos online, or even access Netflix or Hulu account. For exciting movies, you can also use laptop to play games in better picture, better sound, big memory, effectively use battery. X is in with friends also browsing. The fifth main uses of laptop is in work. Laptops are beginning to become a big part of an employee's workstation in some cases, replacing the desktop entirely. Because laptops are lighter, easy to carry, have the process power needed to carry out your work. Some workplace using laptops are bankers, hospital, and also government. The six main uses of laptop is to share and transfer files. Thanks to file transfer, you don't need to do all your work at one workstation and enable people to work from home and update files immediately when traveling. We also have here the specific uses of laptop. First, taking notes in school and researching papers. Second, presenting information in business meetings. Third, sending and receiving emails. Frequency of usage in laptop refers to the measured time used on a particular digital gadget called laptop. The use has numerous factors and determinants for an average number. Factors such as status, environment, economic state, financial stability, internet connection, history of education play a vital role in evaluating the frequency of usage. According to Antonio Sino, an author of the book IT on the Numbers and Data, Filipino users spent a 5-6 to six hours using a laptop in 2013. The measurement was conducted on a group of 107 people. According to Helena Pinto, a statistician, Filipino students from University of San Tomas spent 7 hours using a laptop or computer as the new normal setup rose in 2020. The number stayed in its 85% because the university already had an online schooling history. The cases vary from one to another, yet the average user with a middle class status and ordinary living enjoys a three and a half hours of laptop usage. The use of laptop is significant today, but the knowledge of usage will determine the essence of what we are doing and what we are going to do. My own experience while using laptop. As a college student, laptop is important which has become our personal tool. We communicate it with our professors and classmates since we are online class. Having laptop gives me the productivity to work. It, that, it does help me to take notes in class, do my homeworks, do research, and other stuffs.